Okay, uh, I have my clock says we're right at the top of the hour, and uh, we're pretty pretty small group, so I think we should just um, should get started. The, the join rate is uh, not not high, and uh, first I want to thank you for joining um, the session. Uh, we we conduct these sessions pretty much before every uh, meeting or have done since um, 2020, and the goal is at this point really is just to get give people a chance to um, become reacquainted from Medico if, if they haven't used it for a while and, and to point out any uh, new uh, features that um, have uh, been incorporated uh, based on community community input uh, since the last time we used it for an ITF meeting. So uh, we have Alessandro Amarante here today from um, Medico, uh, which is great. and. Uh, Again, thanks to everybody for joining. I, I've uploaded, um, or I'm sorry, I have not uploaded. Uh, I'm sharing some slides um, here uh, today, and I'll run through those really quickly, and then and then um, just run through a few reminders. But um, as I mentioned earlier, if you have questions, feel free to to drop them in the chat, and we'll um, we'll pick them up. Or uh, also, one of the goals of this session is to just test video and audio setup. So we'd be happy to. Um, have folks raise their hands, and then we can um, uh, do those kinds of tests as well. So uh, yeah, so with that, I'll get started. Um, the slides that I'm showing here are generated off of the template that is provided in um, the working group chairs, uh, sorry, the session chairs checklist, uh, which you can find from the uh, uh, preparing um, web page on the ITF website. Um, so I encourage you for sure to um, take a look at those pages and uh, and just review them. They're pretty short and they have some nuggets that can be useful for um, just getting ready for uh, sessions at the upcoming meeting or even in, for interim meetings between then, uh, between ITF meetings. Uh, just a reminder that we're being recorded. This is record. Ah, uh, Marco. Uh, uh, I apologize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see now here. I I sent that. Uh, that was my mistake, and I I copied and pasted too quickly. So I just sent out an update uh, with the correct links. Apologies for any trouble. Um, this is the note. Well, again, uh, this session is being recorded, and as all ITF uh, meeting sessions are, this session is recovered by the ITF note. Well, um, I suspect everybody here has is pretty familiar with it. Uh, but it's always fun to read uh, a couple times a year, which, which of course I do. Uh, again, uh, this session is being recorded. These are some tips. You'll see that I'm using earbuds. I'm actually using Bluetooth earbuds, um, which can work pretty well, uh, but there are also sometimes uh, advantages to using wired ear, earplugs, and I understand, um, uh, earbuds, sorry, and I understand uh, from my younger daughters that those are actually, um, uh, a la mode these days. So uh, don't don't be ashamed to use wired earphones and microphones. Um, if you're on site, uh, this is the same as was as was uh, true at 113. Uh, but if you're going to be on site, it is required to use Medico to sign in for sessions. Those uh, that sign in populates um, the blue sheets and um, also provides uh, queue man integrated queue management. For both in person and remote participants, I think it worked pretty well at 113. That's the feedback we got. Um, so this um, feature is continued to 114. Um, and if you're using, uh, you can use either the light version or the uh, full version of the uh, Medico client. And if you're using the light version, you'll uh, notice um, that it doesn't uh, send audio or video by default, which is um, perfect for that situation. Uh, you can use the full client. Um, but you just have to make sure not to send audio or video because uh, the in-room AV uh, setup will take care of that for you if you're actually in the room. And of course, remote participants should just, whether you're a chair of a session or a full or, or a participant, you should use the full version because um, that, which is what we're, what I'm using now uh, and what we all should be using now since we're all remote uh, and that handles everything all in one place. Um, super handy. Um, I'll just pause there. Um, 
because this last slide is really just a review of what I think everybody here saw in the email, which is we're having these moderated test sessions, which are really just maybe more guided test sessions because they're not really moderated. People can jump in whenever they want. Uh, there will be on-demand testing beginning July 15th. That is this this Friday. Um, and once after Friday, the new version of um, Meetup will be uh, deployed and you can set up um, test sessions. And again, instructions on how to do that are provided in, in the chair guides uh, on the web pages. Uh, at the URL that you see here, um, and you can you can set that up. It won't create a virtual interim meeting or anything. It's simply a test session that you can use to test things out amongst yourselves as chairs, or you can even invite your um, presenters to join a test session, and you can test uh, everything, their setups, your setups, everything. Uh, if you if you set one of those up, uh, and then in addition, there will be. Um, uh, I see. I see questions in the chat and I will answer those as I see them. So Joel, uh, in the full in the full um, client, you don't have to do anything to turn it off uh, the icons. Um, oh, I see incoming audio and video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, and people are people are already responding. Fantastic. Thanks for asking the question though. Um, if you're asking the question, I'm sure other people have the same one. Um, then the last item here, just in terms of uh, other resources, uh, we had this at 113, and we're going to do it again at 114. Uh, on site, there will be a room set up, which is exactly like a session room. And again, uh, you can sign up via um, a notepad. Again, the link is is available from the uh, chair uh, chair resources page on the website. And if you just sign up for a session, uh, that'll reserve that room for you. Uh, and you can walk into the room. Uh, you'll see the setup exactly as it is for the meeting. Uh, and um, you can connect to a test session, including um, and test out the audio and video in, in the room. Uh, and as well with remote either chairs or remote participants. So uh, yeah, I, I think that takes me uh, through all the slides uh, that I have. Uh, the two things that I think I know are different, and Alessandro, I'll, I'll, um, I'll give you this warning that if I miss something, please please jump in and let me know. The two things that for sure are different, um, uh, uh, the link said, I see the, Michael, please go to on-site link. Okay, I'll check that out if there's, a, if you can tell me exactly which links are. Uh, should be changed. Uh, let me know, Michael. Um, so, so back to the updates. Uh, the one is that uh, Medico is now integrated with Zulip. So this chat that we're using in Medico actually um, connects to the um, ITF Zulip server in a in a stream called testing. And just as with previously with XMPP, um, the the Medico um, View you see is connected to the to the more general group chat service. Previously it was XMPP Jabber, and now it's it's Zulip. Um, so you can also use uh, the Zulip web interface or or a Zulip client to connect to those same streams. Um, and um, the other change is that on the uh, Light client, uh, you can also find a link to the to the chat stream. So uh, previously, there wasn't a link there, and now there is. So uh, that answers a, a pretty common request we had to make uh, that link uh, available for on-site participants who are using the Light client, and um, so that you can have you don't need to necessarily fire up a separate um, client or use the full version of Medico to get access to the to the chat stream for any session that you wanted to you were using the Light client for. Um, and Alessandro, those I, th I think those are the two big changes. Uh, am I missing? Did I miss anything else? Uh, yeah, no. As you said, uh, those are the the biggest changes. Uh, uh, let me check my notes. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, we made some changes about these slides sharing uh, feature because we were asked 
to give shares the possibility to take the control of the slides back once they handed it over to somebody else. And this is now available in the chairs interface. And uh, also there is now a button to do a sort of a bulk update of all slide decks that are available on the data tracker, even though this should not be needed because now we have fixed the wrong behavior that we had at last meeting where slides were not automatically being pulled from the data tracker at the room opening and uploaded into Miteco. Now this has been fixed. So there should be no need to, to do any update, uh, any upload manually by the chairs. And oh, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, another minor thing is that now pronouns that you set in the data tracker should be displayed if you over over any any participant in the participant list if of course if any pronouns has been set in the data tracker profile so i don't see any actually for the current online participants so i cannot double check that but i can try to join with another user so when I tried to join this session just now and uh, and I got the, as others got, that we got the light uh, connection, I actually was told that I needed to rotate my browser on my desktop before I could use it and I couldn't do anything with it. Um, so that was really difficult and I had no way of getting to the full, no, no, no way of finding or discovering the full name except that I know the URLs well enough that I just guessed. Um, so yeah. I, 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 and of course, of course, like as soon as I did the other thing, then I got kicked out of the other tab when I went back to try to, to tell you what it was again, it logged me into the other thing that was rotated. It kicked me out of this one. So uh, I think it would be good to have, uh, um, I mean, I think, I guess you want to encourage people to use the light version who are on site. Uh, but I think it would be very good to have, to be able to switch back and forth much more clearly. Um, if that's a possibility, if you can just throw a link or something, or I don't know what. Um, otherwise, I think that most people are going to on site are going to learn very quickly to just use the full version and hope they remember to turn off their microphone. Yeah, I have to apologize again, Michael. Thanks for pointing that out. I, I uh, it was my mistake to send the in sending the wrong version, so uh, wrong link, the light link. Um, so sorry for the trouble there. Um, but it's a, it's an interesting um, point about if people unintentionally click on the uh, the icon, for example, in um, in Data Tracker from their desktop on and to reach the light version uh, since they're next to each other. Uh, handling that case might be worth looking into for sure. Um, Andy, thanks for raising your hand. Please go ahead. I have a couple quick questions. First of all, can you hear and see me okay? Yeah, you look great. Perfect. And the second question is, um, if I am the person who has the slides loaded and I'm projecting the slides and there's someone who's speaking who's in the room who has the the light client on their phone how do i hand over control of the of the of putting the slides to the person to the speaker or is that not possible yeah sure it's possible uh, you said if the the people that should present uh, has the the light client right yes on their phone yeah. Yeah, as a chair, you can just go to on the participants list and you'll see a, a control that allows you to pass the slides control to somebody else. And this is only available to chairs. So when the system recognizes you as chair. So now this is available to Greg, for instance. And yeah, if you do, Andy, you, I, should but you have to be sharing first. slides, not sharing screen. Exactly, yeah. Right. Right, yes, and I yes, think that there's some that. chairs that may still be confused about that. Yeah, yeah. What I've done in the past is I preloaded all the slides, and then I shared the slides directly from Mirako. 
Yeah, and that's correct. And this way, slides will also be displayed in the room and everything should work. If you want to just pass the control to somebody else, just go, just find him in the participants list and hand the control over to him. Perfect. That's all I need to know. Thank you. Exactly. And you can also take the control back when it's done if it doesn't stop manually the, the controlling of the slides. Excellent. Cool. Uh, the one tip I'll say is that it's only possible to have one, because um, I, I run into this personally, is that you have to um, be sure that you're just sharing one um, set of slides at a time. Yeah, so, of course. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay great, great question. Thank you, Andy. Okay, bye-bye. Uh, let me just get back to the slides. Um, and then see if I can find my chat window. Great. Um, I do not see any other questions in chat. Um, does Does anybody have a question? Or and I don't see anybody in the queue. Uh, does anybody have a question? Does anybody want to test their audio or video while we're all here? Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to try the um, poll uh, uh, feature just to oh that's uh, that's wrong um, I didn't form my hum okay uh, so I've started a poll uh, just to see who would be attending uh, 114 or participating in 114 in person. Um, so uh, that should be going on right now. Uh, and you should have been notified. Um, we'll give it a few minutes so you can hop in. Um, Uh, just testing out, we'll give a five, we'll use the counter, countdown counter, we'll give it five minutes. Uh, so there should be a countdown counter now in the bottom of the screen, so you can see that feature in running. Just trying to push all the buttons here. Still don't see anybody in the queue. Uh, don't see any questions. So, uh, Alessandro, is there anything else you think we ought to cover while we're here? Nope, don't think so. OK. Yeah, hi, Xiping, please go ahead. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, very well. I'm a new chair, so I know nothing. Let me ask some silly question. First, uh, how do I uh, start the me echo uh, in a, as a chair rather than a, you know, a common participant? Ah, that's a great question. Uh, so there is magic. Um, what happens is that when you uh, click on the URL, either through the data tracker agenda or somewhere else for a session, um, you log in using your data tracker uh, credentials. And Medeco can tell from your roles in data tracker if you should be chair for a particular session uh, or should have that um, those capabilities. So when I clicked on um, or I loaded the URL for this session, uh, I've been identified as a chair for this session. And so I automatically have the chair roles and abilities. Um, and this is um, this is a great uh, this would be a great example of where setting up a test session in Medico might be super helpful because uh, you can set up a test session as a chair, and then you can see what Medico looks like looks like as a chair. Uh, thank you very much. The second question is: I saw you just now. You start a timer. 
So how can I start this timer? Because we may need to, you know, control people's time. Yeah, that's a great question. You should see as a chair, uh, and I, what I'll do is I'll stop sharing this screen and I will share my full screen. So um, you will see um, uh, everything. Uh, uh, you should see my pointer. You can see that the controls I have up here, there's this countdown clock uh, control, and you can start the timer uh, through the controls uh, available in this in this modal. So you'll it'll pop up and uh, it'll appear for everybody once you start. and you can set it to be any time. Uh, where, where do you click to start the the timer? I didn't see. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Uh, if oh, you, yeah, if you at can, the top. Yes. Okay. Yeah. This, these are the general uh, controls that you'll see. So you'll see it'll be slightly different if you join a session as chair, uh, but um, it'll be uh, this kind of where where most of the controls are for the session. Okay. Thank you. Any any other questions or? Um, so for sure, you uh, were able to use the the hand raising tool and also the audio stream tool. So that's great. Uh, I'll leave this view open. Sorry, another question. How do I share the slides? Oh, fantastic. Um, so there are there are uh, two ways to do that. Uh, and I confess I'm not as adept as as possible. The preferred way to do that is to open the meeting materials uh and i'm not i'm not doing this correct correctly um so alessandro i will ask you to help me out because i have forgotten how to do that myself to be honest yeah what was the question i was distracted actually yeah the question is how how to share slides and i want to share both sharing preloaded slides and um yeah also, the share preloaded uh, slides you have the uh, share preloaded slides button just next to the webcam icons where all the controls are you have the microphone the webcam the share screen share slides and join the queue okay let me um yeah uh let me see if i can show this in action thank you okay this will be so try that. Yeah, I can't show you the, the actually how that works, but there, right there, is the icon, and this is the this is the point I made earlier is that this um, stream for sharing the desktop is now occupied by me showing my screen. So I have to stop that, and then uh, if I do stop that, then I can share a preloaded slide, but I can't show you what that looks like. Um, but here, I will just share the slides. And you can see what it looks like. And then uh, for me as chair, I can, or as because I have slide control, I can control which slide is being shown. Yeah, actually, uh, Shipang, if Greg stops sharing his slides, if you hit the same button, that's the, the share slide, ask to share slides, I think it's named in your UI. You just have to be moderated, so you you need somebody to accept your request, and then you'll see the very same interface that you'll see automatically as chair without any need to, for approval in that case. Yeah. Oh, so if you want, to, if you want to try that, I can also trigger it to you if you want. So. And I see that we are looking at your slides. So now you should, you should, as Alessandro mentioned, you should have control over the slides through a bar at the bottom of the, of the window. Yeah, and you can also use arrows on the keyboard if you want. Um, I am a little bit confused. So am I sharing the slides now? Yeah. 
you you are controlling the slides that have been loaded into Medico. So this is yeah. this is the yeah. So just now, because I selected this uh, IETF one one four test section, so I think that it's now show on the slide. But I think that uh, at the beginning, uh, which button do you click to? Is it all the button at the top, like the? Yeah, it's one of the buttons at the top. Now I triggered the button for you just to to show this other possibility. But if I now stop the slide sharing, if you hit the it should be the second button from the from the left, just next to the hand icon. Yeah, it, it looks like a little document with a line through it if you're not sharing. OK, thank you. Uh, and and uh, one of the important points that you brought up is that um, preloading slides uh, is really a much better way to share slides during a session. So if you are chairing a session and you have presenters that will be using slides, um, obviously it's um, nice to have them loaded into Data Tracker because uh, then everybody can see them, uh, even if they're not using um, the full Go interface. Uh, for example, they're in the room using the light interface and want to see the slides separately. Um, but also it just makes um, uh, it much smoother uh, so you don't rely on your network connection to to share the slides. Right, understood. Okay, fantastic. Thanks for asking that question. That's a great question and um, definitely an important point. And I see Marco in the uh, chat has provided a link to the uh, uh, guide for chairs of Medico sessions. So that's uh, that's also useful and, and might provide some info about topics you hadn't thought about or didn't encounter, but um, it'd be good to know. Uh, our our session, let me go back to the show of hands tool and see, I'll end the session. Uh, so uh, it looks like um, eight of the folks here will be on site and then are in person, so I should say, and uh, three didn't raise their hand. So, um, uh, they will be, I suppose, remote at this point. So that's actually um, uh, great. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of people uh, to catch up with people in person. And, and of course, if you're uh, remote, you can um, hang out in, I think the gather space will still be available um, and uh, the Medico sessions uh, during the week will help you join the, the actual um, working sessions. Uh, so uh, we're now about thirty minutes into the into the session, and I'm happy I'm happy to hang out um, for the remainder. Uh, I think it's getting close to the end of the day for Alessandro. So, um, if there are any other questions in particular for Alessandro, uh, please please feel free to ask. One point I didn't uh, that I think is um, called out. This is a final point I should have mentioned earlier. Is that in Alessandro again? You'll correct me if I'm wrong. But if you are chairing a session and you've logged into Medico and you have the chat available and a question comes up or an issue comes up uh, that you can't um, uh, that you need help with, uh, you can you put Medico uh, the word Medico in the chat and then ask your question or raise the issue. And there is always someone from Medico monitoring the chat for all the sessions. So that'll get their attention and, and they are usually super quick to respond and resolve anything. And I saw Alessandro nodding, so I, I got that mostly right. Yep, thanks. Great. Well, um, like I said, I think I think we're we've covered everything that's super important. I will personally, I'm happy to hang on to the session uh, for uh, another 25 or 30 minutes or so in case someone happens to join late. Um, but I want to thank you all for coming and and testing this out. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, eight of you at at in Philadelphia and the others online. So uh, yeah. 
if uh, any questions come up between now and then, um, feel free to drop a line to support at ietf.org by email, and um, we, can, uh, we can get questions and, and uh, issues resolved that way. I encourage you to um, set up your own test session for your uh, working group in advance, either on site or using the um, uh, online tool available uh, starting Friday after the 15th. So uh, thanks again for taking time out of your day to, to make sure things run smoothly for you at 114. And if anything comes up that we can help with, please let us know. So thank you, hey, everybody. Thanks.
Hi. Um, I see someone has just joined. Um, let me know if you'd like to test sending audio or video, or uh, if you want to test. Hey, hey. Yeah. This is TJ. Yeah. Thanks for sending yeah, my email. Yeah, TJ. Thanks. Uh, Thanks, and my apologies again. It was totally, uh, totally my bad. Uh, do you want? Uh, are, are you uh, are you looking to test anything in particular, or do you want to see a feature? Happy to run through anything you'd like. Um, yes, specifically. So, um, yeah. <laughs> So, um, so I'm chairing the, I'll be chairing the ANRW. So one um, presenter will be presenting their paper remotely. So um, how can I, you know, teach them <laughs> to do so? Yeah, yeah. So the most important thing uh, I would say is to uh, make sure that if they're going to be using slides um, to, have those slides uploaded um, to the data tracker ahead of time. And then um, what will happen is you will be able to see, and I'm going to stop so I can show you um, what that looks like. Uh, you'll be able to see, uh, um, sorry, oh, crap. OK, hold on, sorry. Uh, no, nope, that's not what I want. This is what I want. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Um, so if they. Uh, if they uh, upload their slides, you can see that there's the share preloaded slides um, icon in the upper left underneath your um, name. Uh, if you click on that, uh, yeah, if you click on that, what'll happen is you'll get a list of slides that are available to share. And I can't show you because I can only show you either my desktop or the slides. So it won't allow me, to, it won't allow me to do both. But if they preload the slides into Data Tracker, then it will be a, those slide that slide deck will be available to share. And what you can do is um, you can start sharing those slides. And I'll show you how it looks from the, the user perspective. Uh, you can start sharing those slides and then pass control to the presenter um, so that then they can control the slides. Uh, and here's what else. So, for example. Uh, so I'm going to share the slides that I've made for this session. And I'm going to pass control to you. Uh, oh, I should have showed you that too. Um, yeah, actually, let me let me stop and show you that. Um, it's, it's very awkward because um, uh, I can't show you everything. But uh, there, there is a guide. There's a chairs guide that, that lays this out. Um, Yes, I want to do that, and I want to do the whole deal, but not that one. So, okay. So now I'm going to, if I, once I start sharing slides uh, from the share slides icon up here, uh, what I do is then go here, and you can, for a particular user, say, oh, pass control slides. So I'll do nice. that now, and you'll see what it looks like it as a user. Um, so, uh, da, da, da. okay, so I'm sharing the slides. Now I've rolled over your name. I see this past slides control. So now you uh, will have slides uh, controls at the mm -hmm. bottom of the slide, and you can advance the slides. Um, That's the, awesome. Uh, the, yeah. So it's pretty handy. And then as a chair, you can you can revoke the permission to share slides. So you I, I will take slide control back, and you'll see this. Mm -hmm. So now I have slides control again. So. Um, it's pretty handy. The key is uh, to upload the slides before, and then once that's done, it's all really, really nice. Um, the other thing to say is if uh, you are expecting video, because I know the ANRW folks are um, crazy and use things like video during presentations, uh, you should just make sure to let um, Medeco know about that ahead of time, because Medeco as a, as a um, uh, WebRTC client uh, doesn't doesn't really handle video very well, and and Medico can, if you can get them the video ahead of time, they can do some things so that it works great for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, I have two more follow up questions. So one is, yeah. so 
Um, what if、um, the author would like to present on、uh, offline? Then how can he broadcast this? You know, broadcast this thing's presentation through this you know, platform. Yeah. So if they want to use slides that are not uploaded to Data Tracker. Um, that's possible. It's definitely not recommended、uh, because it ends up、um, meaning that if、um, it puts higher demand on their network connection,、uh, mm -hmm. and it's just not as it's not as seamless. Like if someone has to take over for them, you can't pass control. But it's definitely possible. And the way to do that is you'll see、um, there's a share screen icon、uh, just below your name. It it looks like a monitor, a computer monitor.、Uh, and if you click on that.、Uh, You can、uh, request, and you can try it out and see what it looks like right now.、Uh, if you、mm -hmm. click on that, I as chair will get a request to allow you to share your screen. I see.、Um, and the other trick about that is that you need to, you can only share preloaded slides or share a screen.、Uh, you、gotcha. can't do both at the same time. So I would have to stop the slide share.、Mm -hmm. So the author shouldn't use the keynote or. PowerPoint for their presentation. They have to connect this platform and uh, uh, share their screen, even if they would like to present on site, right? So, yeah, if they're presenting on site, it's actually uh, even um, more recommended so that for them to use、um, the Medeco sh slide sharing. The other thing I'll、yep. say is that.、Um, In the ITF, anyway,、uh, I think it's also true in the IRTF.、Um, the general idea is that slides are、uh, available、um, as part of the meeting agenda in advance,、mm -hmm. so that、um, that's just sort of the norm.、Um, so if they're、uh, if they're presenting、uh, like PowerPoint or a、um, uh, keynote format, that they have to convert to PDF, I think, to upload to, to Data Tracker anyway.、Yep. Yep. And and once they do that, it automatically shows up in Medeco. So everything that's available in Data Tracker is is available via Medeco automatically.、Mm -hmm. um, the last one is what if so、um, so what if the presenter is you know, would like to present remotely, but let's say his network connection is not that good. So our plan is to request them record the video and post it YouTube just in case. Is it possible to use this platform and to play the video here? Or yeah, 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 for sure, and that's ideal. If you upload the video、uh, to YouTube and then you have a URL, you can share with the Medico folks. They are happy to. Th there's a Medico person that's in every session, so the people who actually run the platform monitor the、mm -hmm. session. So if you just tell them, hey, we have these、uh, three or four videos that we want to play during our session. Uh, and I think they've done this in the past, so it's it's not new.、Uh, they'll just uh, uh, be monitoring the session, and when you say, "Hey, play this video," they'll play that video, and it'll show up through the platform,、uh, mm -hmm. which includes in the room in Philadelphia.、Um, I see.、Uh, so that's that's definitely not a problem,、uh, and is a, is a great way to handle that stuff. So if something doesn't go well, I don't need to be you know panic. So. <laughs> no, if you if you preload the slides and you have the video shared with Medico in advance,、um, mm -hmm. everything should go super smoothly.、Um, the other thing to say is that, like I said, someone is in Medico and usually they're monitoring pretty closely, especially A and R W sessions because、mm -hmm. they're,、um, like I said,、uh, it's a little different. But if if you are in the session and in the chat for the session, if you type、mm -hmm. Medico.、Uh, mm -hmm. That they have a they have a, a bot that alerts them. So as soon as that string Medeco shows up in a chat, uh, uh, like sirens and red lights、I、go、see. off in the control room that they have, and they、mm -hmm. will come and take a look.、Um, so that's always that's always a, po a possibility. Got it. So should I type a chat here? Oh, I'm sorry. If I'm, you type it,、uh, yep.、Yeah. I'm using this、yeah. one first. So. Yeah, if you type Medeco into the chat, I believe Alessandro will pop back in. He's he's、mm -hmm. he's monitoring as a Zulip user, but I expect that、mm -hmm. he will pop back in. Got it. Yep. That's all. Thank you so much. No problem.
Uh, any other questions? Uh, I guess that's it. Um, so if I have some more follow-up questions, should I uh, to, to sign up this table, um, the chairs testing? Yeah, will you be Daniels. in Philadelphia? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, unfortunately not, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I have to cheer remotely. Uh, but uh, I, I, I think I can find someone who will be on site so that he can help. Um, but anyway, so so I'm seeing the notes.itf or itf cheers testing. And I see a, a big table for uh, in-person session chair testing. So it is for in-person. So, okay, it doesn't apply to me. Um, okay. All right, I, I guess then that's it. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, no problem, TJ. If something comes up before uh, uh, the meeting starts, let me know. I've, I've just dropped a line to Alessandro, um, who is sort mm -hmm. of a lead contact for us on, on Medico to, to alert him that uh, there will be there will be um, videos for the ANRW sessions. Um, mm -hmm. So, uh, and if you if you if there is someone on site, uh, or even if you even if you want to test, but you will be remote, um, you can go ahead and grab one of those slots in the testing, and mm -hmm. um, you can you can test as a remote chair. Uh, oh, okay. In a in room setup, mm -hmm. um, I I don't know if it's possible. I know ITF working group chairs and IRTF working group chairs can set up um, test sessions ahead of time so they can see it and run through everything as a chair and coordinate with presenters. I don't know if that's true for ANRW. Uh, I'll I'll ask yep. about that. Yep. Thank you. All right. Okay. Uh, well, thanks for joining. Sorry about the trouble. If anything comes up, no, uh, we can help with it. Yep. Let us let us know. Yep. Thank you so much for your help. All right. Okay. Cheers.